Alright guys, it's me, Loka, and this is La La Land. This week, I'm getting my tarot cards read. So, we're going to have some fun this week, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, hopefully nothing bad comes of this. But, you know how tarot cards go. They won't let me have a gypsy or, or you know, any kind of visitor like that come in because I think it's bad for my... Bad for my psyche or something, but you all know that I'm perfectly fine, right, guys? Yeah, you do. This is Loka we're talking about here, right, guys? So, anyway, let's get started. Hey, guys. Before I get started with my next video, I want you to go to Etsy.com backslash DreamState83 so you can pick up your Bomber Clown t-shirt, guys, and other cool designs. Links in the description and below. Okay, enjoy the video. Bye! Okay, click on this first one. If I can find the... Okay, there it is. Click on that first one. Alright, card one is the Ten of Swords. This card depicts your present position. I'm, I'm right here, guys. So, this card signifies pain, affliction, desolation in your present position. However, be thankful... It's not particularly a card of violent death. Pain. I'm in a good place, guys. There's no pain here. Trust me. I don't care what that card says. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. From what I understand, right, guys? Because gypsies aren't real. Tarot cards aren't real. And now all that mumbo jumbo. Right, guys? Okay. No. No, got it. Ne next one. I gotta go to the next one. Card two. The Ace of Wands. This card depicts your immediate influence. According to this card, your immediate influence involves creativity, invention, birth, sexual activity, or a search for origins. Alternatively, it may signify money or all that jazz. Well, and getting a little money on the side. But no, but I'm, I'm not like that, guys. I know what you're thinking. I'm not one of those. I got my Onyx Rapture for all. For everything that's, well, you know. I'm, looks like I'm coming into some money. I'm, I'm out of this joint. Out of this, uh, out of this asylum. Ugh. I have to deal with psychos and psychologists and all that stuff. It's not for me, guys. Alright, let's move on to card three. Card three is the Ten of Cups. This card depicts your short-term outlook. Well, that's, I have a great outlook. Short-term, everything's going to go great for me. See what the card says. According to this card, contentment figures heavily in your short-term outlook. You'll find happiness and protection of human love, friendship. Okay, I do with that. It's a card of home, happiness, joy, love, and honor. That's everything to for me in a T. To a T, guys. Yeah, I'm back to feeling good about this about this again. Alright, that's good guys. Alright, let's, let's pick another one out here. Alright, click. Click that. Alright. Card for the, the... The... The devil? The devil! That can't be good. This depicts your distant past foundation. Well, well I, I was... I was raised fine. I, I don't even know why I'm even in this asylum, guys. If this... If this, is, if this is trying to say anything. According to this card, there was some sort of negative force at work in your distant past. Violence... Anger, death, may have come into play. No, no, no. No, no, I, I, I'm supposed to block that out. Good composer. This card can also signify... Get past, get past the card. This card can also signify that which is predestined, but is not for this reason evil. What? Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I can deal with that. Okay. Card five. The four of wands, guys. All right. This card depicts... Recent past events. Oh, don't, don't, don't bring that up, guy. This card suggests harmony, prosperity, peace, and refuge in your past events. Recent past events. Likewise, it may si signify unexpected good fortune. That's good. Where I thought. Yeah. I thought I was going to be referring to that stalker and that. That no good for, for Jesus. <laughs> no, no, no. You cast her away. Hi. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go to the next one, okay, guys? All right, 
card six. Ooh, the magician. Pick a card, guys. This card depicts your future influence. My future's bright according to what's been going on. Hopefully he has something good to say. Your future influence will involve some creative task or the influence or the opportunity to utilize your creative powers. That's great, guys. Open my mind. You can see my crazy, I mean, my creative spirit and juices come out, guys. You can see some crazy stuff. I'm going to start doing art. Yeah, I'm going to start doing art. Anyway, back, back to this. This is a card of originality, spontaneity, flexibility. Ah, uh, yeah, get flexible. Utilizing these qualities will enable you to find fulfillment and master your environment. Yes, this is the thought I'm going to become the master of the yep, master of this societal craziness. <laughs> All right, let's take that one. The Three of Swords. This card depicts the questioner. That's, that's me. The suggestion of this card is obvious. Really, guys? You just can't, like, spell it out for me? I was born blonde, guys, so you have to, like, put some effort into it. I mean, I'm pretty smart, but, you know. But I guess it'll, it's all, it all ties in together. Right, guys? Okay, next card. All right, card eight, death. Am I going to die, you guys? Is that, is that what that means? This card depicts outside forces. Oh, great, guys. Perdita and its stalker. <sighs> this card is stressed for something. According to this card, outside forces are causing some sort of transformation in your environment. A clearing of the old to make for the new. This may involve the ending of a familiar situation or friendship or loss of a whatever. A familiar situation. Oh no, guys. Is, is Onyx in trouble? No. No. Uh-uh. I don't, I, I don't even want to do this anymore. I don't even want to... I, I, can, we, can we end this now? Although such prospects may be frightening. Okay. Remember that change is a part of life and often results in rebirth. Get an all-new onyx. Not that there's anything wrong with this onyx. But it's all the same, right, guys? It's all the same in the end. Yeah, guys. Here we go. Okay, let's, let's go to the ninth card. I think there's ten. Got a couple more to go. All right. Okay, card number nine depicts inner emotions. I am not an emotional person first, people. I don't let my, my inner emotions get to me. So I am I'm quite... In my opinion, an at peace person, guys. This card suggests an intuitive spirit. Oh, and the ability to motivate others. I'm quite a motivational person, guys. I can get anybody to do anything I want. I can get them to go away. Well, and to motivate others. Well, to come be in Locust's world, guys. Yeah, be part of my world. Yeah, or, or you know, friends. Friends love me. Everybody loves me, guys. So. So anyway, and I'm pretty intuitive too. So, yeah. This is me. Yeah, okay, card 10. The Chariot. This card depicts the final outcome. <gasps> f f final, final outcome. Oh no, guys. It's been good. It's been, it's been decent up to this point. This card suggests whether trouble or adversity is in your long-term outlook. We we'll have to deal. No. There will be conflicting influences at work. Positive and negative energies battling for control of the situation. So I had that. I had thought everything was in the past, and I thought I got got taken care of. Perdita. The only thing I had to do was was a stalker. These energies may be the work of outside forces. They may be conflicting beliefs or desires within your mind. No, no. Uh. Uh. I I can't do this, guys. I'm I'm glad this is over. Can can we can we just stop? This is this is this is it. No, no, no. I'll I'll, de I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it when it comes. Get get back to get back to your center. Like the doctor say. Like the doctor say, just get, get back. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah. Ne ne never mind that, that that last little outburst, guys. Cause uh, everything's gonna be just fine. You stuck with me. We'll get through this together, guys. I I'll, I'll I'll see you next week. Okay. Okay? Because everything's fine here in La La Land. Don't even worry about it, guys. Okay? Okay. I'll see, I'll see you later.